Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have an interesting problem. y equals e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. Very much related to the hyperbolic cosine and the hyperbolic sine. Now, all we have to do here is find the derivative with respect to x and we're going to use, in this case, the quotient rule because we do have a quotient. So let's try starting with that. So we can say that y prime, which is dy dx, is equal to the denominator e to the x plus e to the minus x times the derivative of the numerator. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x minus the derivative of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x. So that minus then becomes a positive e to the minus x. So that's the first of the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator, which is e to the x, minus e to the minus x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x, because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, but the derivative of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x. So this becomes minus e to the minus x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x, all squared. Now, we need to simplify that. Hmm. So let's multiply these together and let's multiply these together and subtract that. So we have y prime is equal to e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x. e to the x times e to the minus x, well, that's equal to 1 because that would be e to the 0. So that's equal to 1. So plus 1 e to the minus x times e to the x, well, that's also plus 1. And then we have e to the minus x times e to the minus x, which is e to the minus 2x. Subtract from that, we multiply those out. So we have e to the x times e to the x, which is e to the 2x. e to the x times a minus e to the minus x, well, that would be a minus 1. e to the minus x times e to the x, that would be a minus 1 again and minus e to the minus x, minus e to the minus x, that becomes positive, plus e to the minus 2x. All that divided by the denominator, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared. Now notice what's going to happen. Here we have an e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, so this cancels out with this. Here we have an e to the minus 2x minus e to the minus 2x, so these cancel out, that's kind of nice, and this negative will turn these into two positives, so we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 4, so we can then say that y prime is equal to 4 divided by, the denominator would be e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared, and that would then be the final answer for the derivative of our original problem, and that's how it's done.